Good evening and welcome to the Brave News Bulletin. I'm Isaac Cregan. This week's War News. Firstly, this week, some news that has been mentioned in backrooms and BNN tickers has finally come to light. Lenny Kravitz II, the man who provided a significant amount of is the last time goons got kicked out of their space, has been released from his permaban imprisonment and allowed to rejoin EVE and reclaim his assets and his place in Brave Operations Lollipop Division. For those of you who don't know, Lenny Kravitz II operated one of the most prolific gambling sites before a mass petition by Goonswarm accused him of RMT, real money trading, and got him banned. He was, for a long time, unable to appeal these accusations and prove them false due to real-life circumstances, but now he has been exonerated of all charges and allowed back into the game. Information about the circumstance of his liquid isk and assets are scarce, but bold statements imply that he'll soon be able to mobilize trillions of isk to support the United Beekeeper war effort. Brutal fighting has erupted in the system of 3 Tech F and Quirius as a now constant back and forth battle has continued to evolve over the local iHub. While the goons took back the hub this past Thursday with a combined force of about a thousand members, the defense force numbering a mere 40 brave pilots managed to hold them off for a full hour and 30 minutes before being driven off the structure. Let me stress that again. 40 brave and assorted legacy pilots managed to destroy 5.8 billion isk in enemy ships and bring down 48 enemy vessels, primarily Tengus, Mallors, and Munins, all while flying significantly less potent and smaller ships. The battle for 3 Tech F has continued, and with all hope and some brave pilot logins, the iHub will be back in our hands before long. Keep up the good fight, brave newbies. Reporting from GE Tech 8JV for the Brave News Network, I'm Isaac Cregan. Stay classy.